Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it is starting to feel like Christmas. Um, it takes a lot for me to get into the Christmas spirit. I've never really been one um, since mum passed away to celebrate Christmas. It was always such a big deal when mum was alive and it's never been the same since, but we do try. So today's video is a little Christmas, a few finished objects that I've made for the market stall, some yarn shopping, a gift, and a little update on my friend Emma. So let's get started. First of all, I'd like to start with, and I'll just pick it up, my gift I got this week, which is an advent calendar, World of Teas advent calendar. Yes, I'll open it up. 24 days of teas. Now, unlike a lot of advent calendars, they're not in order. They're all over the place. You've got to look for them. You open them up and there is a tea bag from T2. So I've tried a lot of their teas, but I'm looking forward to opening this and trying the teas. I may do some short videos to tell you what they're like, or I might do a weekly video and tell you what the whole week was like. Who knows? But what a lovely gift. I actually did look online for advent calendars for my son in London on Amazon UK. They have some awesome advent calendars. They do teas, of course, different brand. Um, coffees, which is ground coffee, not instant coffee. Um, there was a cheese advent calendar. So they're not all chocolates and candy and just for kids. You can actually find some great adult ones. And um, I love tea, so this was a perfect gift to me. For me <laughs> whatever anyway moving on um it's been a hectic week work-wise and other stuff um i did spend a day and a half chasing a parcel I, it was a christmas gift i'd ordered for reeds it's the most i've ever spent online on any one item and there was a bit of panic i actually thought it was coming from the uk but it came from the netherlands i got notification had been delivered and it hadn't been delivered and I had to get back on to DHL and they actually got it delivered the next day um, but they didn't tell me where it had been delivered the day before the address they said I told them well that was impossible because that address didn't exist anywhere in Cairns but they wouldn't um, tell me where it had been delivered it wasn't opened and it wasn't damaged thank God I never usually spend more than $100 on an online purchase because I'm always worried they won't turn up. And we have had on the news lately, it started here. People are following the delivery trucks and are going into people's yards and stealing the presents left at the front door. We were advised that if you can get a CTV camera on your um, porch in front of your house, it would be a good thing to do of this is now happening here it's sort of it's happened before but it's sort of escalated this year I guess because everybody's doing it tough anyway on with my video it's starting to feel like Christmas well first of all I took a little trip up to the tablelands I needed the break and I went to my craft shop up there where the lady has yarn that I can buy online but um, I can't buy any cans and she does actually sell it at a really great price up there and it's a nice drive. We went up with Saxon, who still carries on in the car. He carries on if we go below 80 k's. It's too slow. He likes fast and furious. You gotta sit on 80 or 100 and he's happy. You start going slow and he starts whining. <laughs> he's like a toddler. <laughs> Anyway, I went up there. I did buy some stuff. Um, I've taken, I went up there for gifts of yarn and I think I've taken it all out. And, but I'll share with you what I bought for me to um, go back into my stash. I like the Panda Marvel yarn and I really like the red and I couldn't get the red and I needed this green for a project. So that's what I bought. This always reminds me, I call it Canada Red because that's what it reminds me of. But um, they just put numbers, they don't put colours. But that is a three-weight yarn, um, Panda Magnum 8-ply, three-weight DK. And I want those. The red is great for poppies and um, Christmas projects. The other thing is, when I was up there last time, I discovered 
the um, Panda 8 ply. It's soft. It's just called soft. Magnum soft. And it was great for baby projects. It is so soft and squishy. And it was great to work with because I made a love equal Levi with it. And she had found some more out the back in her storage and put it out. And so I bought two in the lavender and one in the blue. I'm pretty much sure this is all she had left. But I bought that for baby projects because it is beautiful and soft and perfect for baby projects. I made some baby washcloths with it, which were popular. The other thing was I made baby washcloths with a cotton that I hadn't seen before or heard of until I went up there. I thought it was like the end of her stock, but no, apparently she can still get it. And it is Sullivan's cotton tone. It's about, it's a 50 gram ball and it's $3 a ball or $2.95. When I went up there, she had the hot pink and this color. And this time she had the navy blue and this color. And she said she can still get it. It is great. It's 55% acrylic, 45% cotton, and it made beautiful baby washcloths. So I bought two of those. Now, my great find up there was that I found yarn I'd never seen before or heard of, and it is Mission Falls 136 Merino Superwash, 100% Merino wool. I bought a ball in dark purple and purple, and why is it a find? This is the first time I have found yarn here made in Canada. Yes, this yarn is made in Canada. And that's why I bought it. It is soft, but I didn't buy a lot of it. Um, it wasn't expensive, so I don't think it's a high-end yarn from Canada. Um, but I thought I'd try it out. I can always make a tea cosy with a dark and lighter purple. But uh, to my Canadian friends, have you ever seen Mission Falls? And if you've used it, tell me what you think. So I think it's like a DK, wait, yeah, a three-ply DK, um, three-weight, that usual. That's my favourite weight of yarn. I know some people like heavier weights, which I'm going to get into. Every time I go up there, I see this colour yarn, and I really like it, and I thought it would be great for a campfire cardigan or a winter cardigan for me, and she had it on special. Packs of three of the Red Heart Aran that's made for the Australian Yarn Company for here in this colour. I don't think it has a colour on it. It might have a colour on it. I don't know. I don't want to take it out of the plastic because I don't know when I'll get around to doing it. But yeah, it is a four weight yarn, Aran. Um, it's got colour 100. That's it. But yeah, it's like a, a blend of greys and blacks and whites. And they are 300 gram balls. So I bought a pack of three because she had it on special. Apparently, because she buys so much, they offer her specials. And she passes the specials on to her customers, which is really nice. I'll just put that down there. I'll pause the video while I pack some of this up. Oops. Sorry about that, bit of a mix up at the end. Anyway, that was my yarn trip and probably my last yarn purchase for this year. We hope. <laughs> Before next year. But yeah, some Christmas colours in there I can use. And yes, it's starting to feel like Christmas. So I made my standard um, plum pudding tea cosy. Now I did different leaves. They're a bit droopy and big for me. I've decided now that I'm showing you I might make some smaller ones that sit up. But this is my pattern. Um, I've never really written it down. The bottom is knitted. The holly leaves this year, I, I tried them from Bella Coco. She has a pattern for leaves and berries. Mine are just felted berries. Um, but I do like the shape of the leaves. I just think they're a little big and droopy. My normal leaves tend to sit up a bit. But this is my standard plum pudding tea cosy. I have made it bigger this year uh, at a request by some of my clients. This is a three to four cup tea cosy. And yeah, I really quite like it. I actually held 
two strands. This is Marvel 8 ply. I held two strands of yarn together to get a thicker tea cozy. He might be a little big. I don't know. But that's the standard. I make one of those every year. And that's usually about it. But this year, because I've been looking at different videos and what people were making, I decided to give it a go and make a different tea cozy. So this is my Santa's hat tea cozy. It's crocheted. It's a crocheted tea cozy. Now, I got out my pattern book with the intentions of writing down what I was doing. And I got to about here and got distracted by television. And I can't remember what I did up here. But yes, I did want the top to droop down like that. The bottom fluffy bit here, the loopy stitch, this is a tutorial I learned from Hooked by Robin. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Highly recommend you check out this tutorial and learn how to crochet the loop stitch. It is so handy for fluffy brims, beards, hair, that sort of thing on amigurumi. But this is made with the Spotlight USA style um, 10 ply yarn that we buy locally. And that is my Santa's hat, my new creation for this Christmas. I really quite like it. If I make it again, I'll try and to remember, try and remember to write all the notes down and write up a pattern. But that's a promise I don't know if I can keep. Anyway, I'll probably put these tea cozies in my Etsy shop or my Australian Made It shop and try and sell them there. They're the two shops that um, help fund my channel. So guys, if you could go over and check out my Etsy shop and favorite some items, I'd really appreciate that. It lifts it in the algorithms. And the Australian Made It, if you're a, um, a member of that one, it doesn't cost you anything. If you've signed up, if you could go in there and like some of my items in there. I have never sold, I think I've had one sale in my Australian Made It. I do a little better in my Etsy shop. But yes, my Santa hat tea cozy. I really like it. I'm really quite proud of it. There are ways I can improve it. So I may make a second one sometime. I did start on a third project for Christmas. And when I went to bed last night, it was one thing. And when I got up and looked at it this morning, I decided mm, it's going to be something else. It hasn't quite turned out to the picture in my mind or the picture I drew out in my pattern book. And yes, I lost my way on the pattern. I might be able to remember it, but we'll see what it turns out. Maybe next video I'll have finished it. But that's why it's starting to feel like Christmas, my advent tea calendar to open on the first, start opening on the first, and my two Christmas tea cozies. The November markets, I decided I would donate the money to Movember for men's health. Having a dad, I had six brothers, only four are alive now, um, two sons, a hubby. I've always been surrounded by a lot of men, and I decided that was the charity I would donate my money to especially having a brother who decided to end his own life. Men's mental health is not something often discussed openly and men are notorious for not going to hospital or doctors and getting things checked out. So I thought that was a worthwhile cause for Movember, my November fundraising. Which brings me to December markets. Um, yes, I have been doing more stuff for that tea towels, toppers, I'll probably put a photo of the ones I've made so far and different things, trying to be a little bit creative. We decorate our store for Christmas. Um, the people who organise the markets give away three prizes. Um, I make an effort but some people go all out. I, I don't ever expect to win. I just like to make a bit of an effort to dress up my store for Christmas. Which brings me to Emma's table, my little friend. We haven't fundraised for a couple of years for Emma. Uh, it's been difficult with um, COVID and all the rest of it. And we've decided, or Doreen decided next year, she will be fundraising for Emma. Uh, in September this year, Emma had um, hip surgery to help with her posture. The surgery went well, but recovery has been slow. 
she was in a lot of pain um, she stopped eating it's the first time she was ever put on antidepressants there was a lot of physical therapy the floor therapy is paid for what we call by NDIS but pool therapy wasn't and the pool therapy seemed to make her the happiest and help the most so Dorian decided that she would invest and fundraise for a therapy pool at Emma's Forever Home which they started buying last year now we have um, companies construction companies who put the pool in and do all that work for free we just need to fundraise for the pool so at even though it officially launches in January and my December markets on having what we call Emma's table. A lot of people donate little things for Emma to raffle and sometimes it's not worthwhile doing a raffle. So we're going to have Emma's table and I'll put them for sale there. And if they sell, it'll go to Emma's fundraising. Um, yes, even though it officially starts in January, we have already raised $1,020. Our target is between fifteen and 20000 I can't remember. Depends on what the pool will cost at the time. But that's been um, the planning and that takes a bit of work. So that's why I'm busy. But I will enjoy doing that and helping out. If I have a uh, market stall, I'll always put Emma's table there all next year and sell the little things people give her. Um, hold on. Pause the video. I'll get one of the things that was donated. Years ago... Actually, they're on the back. 2012, an old gentleman made these Christmas decorations for Emma to sell. They're metal. They're quite weighty. Hundreds of them. Absolutely hundreds. Here they are. They are, have different coloured beads. There's red, there's yellow, there's blue, they're pink. And I usually have a Christmas tree with these hanging on and we sell them for $2. Um, I also put a box of them at work and usually... In the build-up to Christmas, I will sell quite a few of these at work. I know one guy bought 20 for his tree. Um, so, yeah, they're a good little fundraiser, and it was really nice of him. We um, still have a 100 or so left of these. He made absolutely heaps, and that's what they are. Little candy cane decorated to hang on your tree. So that's one of the things, you know, like when someone donates that, it's really hard to raffle. But it's ideal for a Christmas market stall. I'll have a little Christmas tree decorated with this and some other decorations people have made for her to sell. So yeah, and you know what? Every little bit counts. It all mounts up. It's amazing how quickly it mounts up when you're selling lots of little items. So that's my friend Emma. I will put a photo at the end of this, somewhere at the end of this video of her. Um, it won't be up for long. It'll be, you know, a few seconds and you can click through of her and her mum in the pool doing therapy with a physio. Um, I have permission for that. I also took a bit of video in the car of the drive on the tablelands so you can see the difference in the scenery between Cairns and the tablelands. It might be a little fast for some of you. If you get a bit sick, skip over it, skip to the end. Um, we took Saxon with us, which is like taking a toddler on a car trip. We discovered that he whines and carries on when we go below 80 k's. Parts of the tableland, you can do 80 to 100 k's. And if we go below 80 k's, he starts whining because it's too slow. He likes to go fast and furious. That is Saxon. <laughs> He's a laughing. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'll just check my list, make sure I don't end the video and go, oh, I should have said that. Um, that's it for this week. I did achieve a bit making two tea cozies. Um, I did start a new whip for um, charity, and it's sort of going well. If I concentrate, uh, I keep losing count, and that's my fault. But I'll be back with you um, sometime this week, maybe the end of the week. And I may do some um, sh like short videos on my Advent tea calendar opening in appreciation of my beautiful gift. Because, yes, I do love tea. So until next time, take care. Stay safe. Stay well. Remember, life's an adventure. And you can have a Yarny adventure every day. Bye for now.